hey what's up everybody welcome back to our channel so we got some powder coating back we got actually all the powder coating back for the 18 street glide that we're ugh, we've been working on so i'm going to show you what we got going on here look at that we got some purple in here a lot of black and of course some purple down on the rocker boxes that's going to look really nice plus we got the cam cover and trans cover done so what we're going to do is we're going to start putting together our tappet blocks with our tappets in there and uh, the tappet cuffs, which are from SNS and the push rod tubes. So with everything going on, I mean, here's the tappet cuffs from SNS with new hardware and everything. So we're going to get this together. We're going to have a good time doing it. Hang out. Let's have some fun. Okay, so I had the lifter soaking in a bath of 2050 motor oil. Now, there's more than one way to, you know, prep your lifters and everything, but I like to soak them in motor oil. Uh, I don't have the tool where it pressurizes everything. So what you want to do is take your lifters out. Now, these lifters are from fueling. And fueling likes to have the oiling holes facing the outside to the outside of the engine. So that's how I'm going to put these in because that's how they design their lifters to work. So let's uh, get everything going here. That's to the outside as well. You know, and then we'll have our tappet cuffs too. Now we're going to have to jack up the back tire when we put the uh, rocker arm assemblies and the lower rocker boxes together because uh, we have to get these to the bottom, the lifters to the bottom, basically something like what it is there. And so you get a proper torque on your rocker arms. So you could, you know, I recommend, you know, soaking your lifters for at least a day or two before you go ahead and install them and wipe off the excess oil. We got our SNS tappet cuffs. Here's one of them. And we got to make sure the rotation's right on these or they're not going to fit in there. So let's see. So little, it's a little dance to get it to. For everything to line up just like that one so let me do the other one so that one's crooked that one looks close there we go and what you're going to need here is a 3-8 socket now the SNS tappet cuffs gives you all new hardware for up here and for your tappet blocks which is nice now there's a torque for that I'm gonna have to look that up and let you know what that torque is um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down. I got to grab my ratchet. All right, grab my ratchet. Again, it's a 3 8 socket. So I did put a little Loctite on there. Oop. Try and get these in as, as far as you can by hand. So everything's done. Now we're lo I'm looking at these tappets in the back. The back looks really close to being at the bottom of the, the cam lobes. So we're probably going to start with the back head, get that one all set when we uh, go to put the uh, rocker arms in and the push rods. So again, I'm only putting these in snug and I'm going to go look up that torque spec and I'll let everybody know. So hold on. Okay guys, I got the torque spec. And the torque is between 90 to 120 inch pounds. So I'm going to set this up for 105 inch pounds because that is exactly halfway between the uh, 90 and 120. So I got my, my socket on there and let's torque these down. That's one, two. Okay, so that's done. And now we're going to do 
the Tappet block covers. And these, again, like the uh, twin cam, these will only really fit one way. So you just gotta take your time and match the gasket up to how this fits. As you can see, I had to do a little dance with it here and there. Now, we talked about accent colors on this bike as also on the other bike that I'm working on. Well, we're also going to be doing the accent color here. As you can see, it's a purple, which matches the purple in the, in the smoke uh, flame motif or paint. I think that's really cool. What do you guys think? So I'm going to get these installed and I'm going to get them torqued and then uh, we're going to do the push rod tubes together. So let me get this done and uh, we'll get, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, I got all those in. They're torqued down to 120 inch pounds like they're supposed to. Now when you get your push rods back or your push rod tubes, there's an O-ring right inside of here on the M8s that you replace. All the O-rings do get replaced and when you put this inner piece in, you want to oil it up. There's also an O-ring that goes on the bottom of each tappet block and then there's uh, an O-ring at the top at each head. So, you're looking at three O-rings per push rod tube, or push rod cover, whatever language you want to speak. And again, these are brand new. Uh, they came in the kit from Comtech, which is the gasket kit that I use. So what you want to do is take some of that oil that you had your lifters baking in, or bathing in, not baking, and what you're going to do is you're going to oil up the top and the bottom. Being careful not to pinch your O-rings. And you're gonna get some oil run off, that's fine. Just wipe it up, you know? You wanna do a nice job, you wanna keep it neat and clean. And putting these in is pretty easy. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And what you wanna do is expend, expend, <laughs> extend the upper part of the push rod tube into its location these are giving me a little bit of a hard time right now but that's all right we'll get it so you might want to hold the bottom and push up with a, a screwdriver into its location like that so this is spring loaded and no we're not up all the way here oh, still quite a bit Sometimes these could be a little difficult, as you can see. Now you take your upper portion of your upper push rod tube, and you're going to put that in towards the top. And you're going to take your screwdriver, and you're going to pry down on the collar, and that's in the oil. Well, we'll get that one out later and clean it off. But you put the top of your upper cover, keep dropping it, up against the top part of it. You're going to pry down on the collar with your screwdriver and push in with your thumb and that would lock that in just like that. And you're going to do that for all four. So let me get that done and we'll continue on. Okay, as you can see, it's, you know, the push rod tubes, the tappet blocks are in, they're done. I think they look phenomenal with the bolt caps that I got from Ciro 3D. Uh, they are to me, the best uh, manufacturer for those bolt caps. All right, I'm toying around with either putting the exhaust on next or doing the upper rocker boxes. Um, I haven't decided. So, and also I'm going to do the uh, outer primary, which I'm not going to film that because you guys seen me do that. Uh, the torque is, you know, 90 to 120 inch pounds, like everything else. So let me... Uh, 
take a quick break, see which way I'm going to go with this, and then uh, we'll work together. All right, I got the back rocker box on with the rocker arms and push rods. So I'm going to go over the front with you. It's the same thing, just trying to not be so repetitive with everything. Um, but here's our lower rocker box, and there's an O-ring gasket that's in here. So you want to make sure that's seated all the way around the perimeter where it is. There's a groove that it sits in. So just make sure it's seated all the way in, all the way around when you go to put this on. Now when you put this on, you have the uh, compression relief valve wire that you got to feed through it. And when you put this down, it's going to give you a little bit of a hard time clearing the, the valves. So just take your time and it'll go down just like that. So you got four bolts that hold it in and then a bolt with a, a nut thread on the top. And that one goes into the center. Now, when you're putting your push rods back in, the long push rod always goes towards the exhaust. There's two different lengths, believe it or not. The exhaust is longer than the intake. So be, you know, pretty cognizant of that. And these are a 7 16 um, socket. And the other four will go right in here like this. And believe it or not, the torque on this is not that a lot. It's, it's only like uh, 90 to 120 inch pounds for this. And I got to find the hole. And then the crankcase breather goes in. And uh, I forget what that torque is. I just had it. But I can let you know in a minute if you're really curious, which I'm sure you are. Yeah, so the lower rocker screws are 90 to 120. The breather bolt is 90 to 120 inch pounds as well. And the upper rocker box is um, 120 to 140 inch pounds. So they're a little bit more. So, you know, you just want to make sure that when you put this together, that you use the right bolt in the right place. Um, that they have Loctite on them because that's important Especially, you know, you don't want a bolt coming loose and rattling around inside of your, your, your rocker boxes That could do quite some havoc in here And there is a torque for the rocker arms. I'll get that for you and let you know um, And there's a sequence of putting your rocker arms in because of the fact of uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're at the bottom of the cam load. So when you're t rotating your wheel around with the bike in six gear, you want to watch your push rods to see them go down at the bottom before they come back up. And so this way you know you're at that bottom part. All right, so what I normally do is I'll run these in with the ratchet and then I will torque them. Well, before I forget guys, hey, if you like this content and you like to see more content like this and uh, just about everything Harley Davidson, feel free to give me a like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification. This way you get notified every time I upload a video. And it really means a lot to me if you guys, you know, do that. It helps me out a lot and, you know, helps out the channel. And so I really appreciate that. But yeah, we got a lot of loose wires and connectors up here that we're going to get back together. It's the mass airflow sensor. It's your injectors. It's your throttle position sensor. Um... So there's quite a bit of center wires we still got to connect. We got to bolt up the uh, knock sensors. And I got to look up the torque for that still. And uh, when I have that, 
I will let you know. And there is a procedure too of the positioning of the knock sensor against the head. So you guys got to make sure that uh, when you do it, you know, it's done good. And the torque pattern for this is one, two, three, four, and then the center is last. And that center one's a seven sixteenths. So let me grab that socket and I'm going to run that down while I'm here. Oh, all right, guys. Hey, have you guys been watching the live videos that I do every Wednesday night? I hope you have and I hope you enjoy it. Take part in some of the conversations. It's good conversation uh, that we do every every Wednesday night. All right, so now we're going to torque it. So I said it's 100. Let me double check it. Uh, because I don't like guessing. Lower rocker arms is 90 to 120 inch pounds. So I got my torque wrench set to oh, too high. One oh five. So oh that's the wrong size. Oops. Sorry guys. My bad. Trying to get everything done here. Ah, let me grab the right socket here. All right, 3 h drive, 105 inch pounds. That's one. And you can use an extension if need be uh, without having to do the math for the torque. But if you do end up having to use a dog, a dog bone to get that torque proper, you're going to need to uh, have the dog bone 90 degrees off the torque wrench. Let me know if you guys understand what I'm saying when I say that. And I'll definitely show you what I mean with that too. All right, so that's all four. So I'm going to double check them. Click, click. I don't know if you guys could hear the uh, torque wrench clicking off. Click. Oh, right, it's here now. Click. All right. So what I need to do is get that center one. Good. All right. So for our rocker arms, the, or the rocker shaft screw as they call it, it's 23 to 27 foot pounds. Not inch pounds, foot pounds. So let me grab those. And they're a 12 point socket. All right. This would be the intake. This would be the exhaust. So let me grab that socket and we're going to torque that down as well. But like I did before, I'm just going to snug them up before I torque them. Because I like taking out all the extra play in them. It's not a lot when you look at it, 23 to 27 foot-pounds. 
So I'm actually going to go to 25 foot pounds and then we're going to call that good. these up and we'll continue on with the uppers okay now we're gonna work on our crankcase breather which goes right up here and you got to put a little oil around this seal to help it go in because you don't want to you know tear up that seal and you get a, a bolt with it and it is a uh, 3 16 like all all the other bolts and I put Loctite on it, as always. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna, I should buy stock in Loctite. I, I go through so much of it. I think I went through, I'll be going through a whole bottle of it between these two bikes. And this, yeah, 90 to 120 inch pounds. So let me get that set up. So I'm at 105. Everything always has a torque, guys. Remember that. And once we get this rocker box on, we can actually do the oil cooler lines, uh, which go from the front head to the back head, from the cooler back to the transmission. All right, you hear that clicking off? That's done. Okay. Now, the upper rocker box, we're going to torque that up now. And the upper is 120 to 140 inch pounds. So I'm going to go right to 130. Now, if you look at the metal gasket that you get, it's raised in the center of it. That's the end that goes up. And it sits right in there just like that. And as always, guys, be careful of that wire. You don't want to pinch that wire or anything. And, you know, watch for deformities. Like, this is a little deformed. But that's okay. We could straighten that out. So I'll grab my upper rocker box. We're going to slide that in. And we're going to start our screws. And while we're doing that, I'm actually going on the other side and get this straightened out. So I'll be right back. Okay, got my torque wrench set to 130 inch pounds. And there is a torque sequence. Yes, there is. Now, I run them in, what I mean run them in is I use the old kiss, you know, where it just touches. So that's one, two, and I'm not following the sequence. I know, but it's all right. But there is a torque sequence you can do. I know, I'm not a good boy. I'm not following the torque sequence, shame on me. But I'm okay. All right, guys, you got any questions, any comments? Do you like the bike? Do you like the way it's cup turning out? Um, what would you have done differently? Uh, let me know. I'd like to hear your comments on this. You know, I think uh, this person, she'll be very happy when she sees her bike. I've been texting her pictures uh, because I'm excited how it's coming out. I know she's excited. So, hey, why not? All right, so that's the upper rocker box. That's done. And one of the things I like to do 
is while I can is wipe my fingerprints off of it you know this way it looks fresh and new and, and exciting at least for when she picks it up I should say and uh, you know just like we did on the you know the cam cover and the trans cover for the upper rocker boxes we got those bolt caps too uh, for the upper rocker boxes that come with the kit from Ciro 3D and you know they don't give you enough to do the whole rocker box because you don't need to because you're not going to see it and one of the things I like to do is I like to put them on there by hand a little bit and just take a small hammer and tap them down this way you know they're there you know, next will be the oil cooler lines that go up over the rocker boxes and then after that I'm going to start doing all the, uh, the electrical connections for all the sensors and everything and uh, I'll do the exhaust and after the exhaust I'm going to call it quits for the night and uh, you know I've done exhaust in the past I don't think you really need to see it again but if you'd like to see another exhaust video let me know I'd be happy to show you all right so let me get this set up and we'll do that together okay guys here are the knock sensors I already did one and the other one's right here and what what's a knock sensor what's it do well it tells the ECU that there's a detonation or pre-ignition so what you want to do is you want to have this part as close to this part of the head as possible and the torque is 13 to 17 foot-pounds of torque so I'm going to 15 foot-pounds it's right there in the middle so give me a minute and we'll get this torqued up all right so now they're both torqued and I got the oil cooler lines installed to the heads I still got to install the hoses like this one back here and the two bolts here those are 90 to 100 inch pounds 120 inch pounds same thing with these two bolts and I got to hook up this oil line as well and there is a clamp on there that I have to install also we have here our um, compression relief valves those get plugged in this here is for the horn and I have to get the connectors on this side of the hose now for the um, fuel injectors so let me do that and I'll get right back to you and voila just like that the wires are here for the fuel injectors and you just plug them in and they click right in like all the other connectors so what's left is I got the horn bracket and horn to do uh, I have to install the spark plugs I have to connect the oil lines here I have to do the outer primary derby cover floorboards engine stand uh, kick stand or jiffy stand the fork tubes the fork sliders the headlight bezel the lower trim piece the heel toe shifter the exhaust quite a bit of stuff the front engine mount um, and that can be done and that goes right up front here there's a bolt here and then the bolt other one is over here and that will connect across I have the exhaust to do which I'm going to do tonight and uh, Oh, connect let's you know what while we're here we'll connect our mass airflow sensor and I clicked in now lock that in and that's the throttle position sensor that's the engine temp sensor that's all connected this I'm going to wait uh, until well, actually I could plug this in now perfect but I'm going to hold off on putting this on because we have a different air cleaner then what came off so I don't know if I'm going to need this piece or not but we'll definitely find out all right guys I think this is coming along great what do you guys think hey I think it's coming along great I think it's looking beautiful uh, guys please leave me a comment down below tell me what you think
All right, everybody, that's it for this video today. I will be doing the exhaust without you. And uh, also I got the front and rear turn signals I gotta do, and I gotta rebuild those forks. And I'm gonna get those rebuilt and on without you uh, because you see me do it already. All right, guys, until the next one, live the best life you can. Ride often and ride hard. Like and subscribe to Doc Harley. Subscribe, Dr. Harley.